All right, so um, I guess we can go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's there's Miss Marion joining as well. Let me let her in. Um, Grandma Martha now. Uh, Bay dot oh. say. It's like 200 years before uh, the whole the journey. mind, all day. I hold it get on, so. Ain't gonna keep the on. Ain't gonna don't get the um going to get a mohammo go mohammo uh get time on no uh uh angle sort the guy um mohammo they would like to say thank you for helping us for teaching and working with these younger people so they can learn this language and be able to share it later on. Um, very happy that they do have the interest to do it. Uh, we say bless each and every one of them that are here to work on this. Uh, and we say thank you for everything. Aho. Obaha. Aho. Awesome. Um, okay, so for our learners today, we have Kathy, I see Tim. Um, Judy messaged and said that she's not able to join us, um, but she'll uh, catch the recording. Um, and uh, let's see, Grandma D, is Aunt Carolyn with you? She's on mute. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we'll get started and see who else uh, joins. Um, I think what we wanted to do today was to um, continue to have time to ask for questions about credentialing. And uh, Dane is here with us today, uh, as well as some of our credentialing board members, in case anyone wants to do some of the evaluation parts for the credentialing. And so before we get into practicing, I'll uh, turn it over to Dane to see if there's any updates from the credentialing board, and then also to see if anyone has any questions. Okay, um, uh, kind of similar to last week, I'm just gonna repeat it for anybody who uh, didn't get to make it to the meeting last week uh, for this meeting. Um, there is starting to be a change in the level one, uh, the level one conversational part where it's not going to, going to be the Kiowa to Kiowa conversation interview anymore. It's going to switch over to more of a translation. And that's more or less to fit of several things to fit. One is that usually in languages, when somebody is learning them, they tend to understand it before they really get to start speaking it. So it kind of goes in, in how our normal brain pattern works when it comes to languages and learning how to speak it. Uh, so that whenever they come in and they're getting a credentialist teacher, we at least know that they understand what's being said. So whenever they're actually teaching, I was like, okay, they understand what was being said. And they're kind of work and they're trying to work on their conversational skills for that level two. Um, we can probably take a step back and re-listen to those level two, um, those uh, conversations from last year and ensure that they all fit that level two status so some people won't have to take it again uh, as we had it set up last year was our first time and so um, the way we had those the way we had our evaluation set up wasn't as clear as it could have been they've been simplified out now um, <clears throat> but in this in this fall or in this uh in this summer session that we're having next month on the 19th, August 19th, Saturday. Um, we may get to do that with some people. If they, if some people practice for the Kaiwa to Kaiwa one, you might as well just do that one because you might get that level two status right away um, rather than doing the translation piece. But if you're more comfortable just translating it and, you just, and you're just looking for that level one status, 
you could opt to do that too. So to give you an example of what it is, uh, we do these conversations rather slowly, uh, giving a question or statement followed by his response. Um, so say they'll have the questions, um, one of the, I think we'll have it between one of the board members will be asking the questions and then another will be using the answers. And the the person being credentialed is just, all they're having to do is just translate what's being said. That will decide if if it's one if if we uh if it's easier just to do it one at a time. So say for instance, if they say Hatsoim Kong, then they'll have to say, you know, what is your name? How are you called? Or anything in that area where they're saying, where we can tell that they know what's what the question is being asked. So their answer is in English. And then of course I'd say Dane Akon. And then they just translate it as uh, my name is Dane or I'm called Dane or something like that. They're just they're just translating what's being said. So it's gonna be the same amount of sentences and phrases, but I think we can do more with it. Um, and it might involve other credentialees. I think um, it's good that we're gonna try to get more uh, those who have already passed level one and level two uh, areas. Uh, we can kind of incorporate more people to be involved in these in these uh, interview sessions. You know, that'll kind of give more people practice and know how we're evaluating what we're doing. And for right now, at least giving up, uh, let, letting them participate, which, you know, also goes into the fact that we're, we're um, you know, everybody's being trained as a teacher. And the best way to do that is to give those opportunities to everybody else. And in the case that one of us can't make it, whether it's one of us are sick or, you know, uh, we just can't make it for some reason, you know, we'll have a few extra people there to cover those areas for us. So, um, so just remember that if you kind of already passed, we may uh, ask you all if, you, if to be there to kind of help us out. And if you do come, we will find, we'll find a way to involve you in the process. And that way, uh, if one of us, you know, one of us uh, decides to leave the board for whatever reason, uh, you know, we we have some people that kind of know what's going on, and so uh, just trying to be prepared for the future. So, um, so that's one way of trying to trying to involve more of the more of the credential leaders that have already passed um, is to involve them more in our process. Uh, as on these things, you're already kind of involved in it anyway. It uh, just kind of gives a little another teaching opportunity, I think. And uh, that's the main thing is that level one is making it slow change. There's two ways you can do it. Um, level two is going to be about the same as it was. It is the Kaiwa to Kaiwa conversation. And you're also initiating conversation. And we're talking about a level three now is um, the first two levels, they will have a minimum or um you know, a maximum time. Right now it's 20 minutes, which is quite a bit, actually. So you have 20 minutes to translate the questions or answer the questions in Kiowa, whichever one that you end up doing. And the reason why it's kind of kind of giving a long uh, session is sometimes we go into a discussion that kind of leaves the, uh, the actual credentialing part. So sometimes that'll take two to three minutes up. So I just want to be fair with that and give you all some extra time uh, when we're in there, especially if we're doing introducing and things like that. Um, so that's for level one and two, but level three is going to be a flip and there's going to be a minimum time limit. I think that minimum is going to be um, about 15 minutes or something like that. And on the level three, what we're talking about is it is the person being credential is the one that's starting the conversation and keeping that conversation going. So that'll be up to them to try to keep the conversation going for 15 minutes. So that by that time, you'll have enough stuff, uh, you know, what you learn throughout throughout these courses and these meetings um, that um, you should have enough, uh, more than enough uh, 
uh, questions and things to talk about that you can make anything last 15 minutes. I know my students at OU, just with the level, just with the lessons one through 16, they can make something last about 20 minutes long because that's what they have to do for the final. Uh, they get an English script that they look off of. They don't get to look at any Kiowa. Um, but if they forget something, they can they can easily use your help phrase and ask how to say certain things um, just to kind of get by. If, if all of a sudden they just forgot how to say a certain thing, but they want to say it, um, there's ways for them to go around that. Um, but otherwise, if if uh, the Kiowa 2 students are required that and they can pass it, then, you know, 15 minutes is a good amount of time for um, for a, credential ease in here. So, and I'll kind of keep it shorter, 15 minutes, because 20 minutes is kind of a long time uh, as far as when we're trying to get this through as many people as possible. Um, so keep that in mind for your engineer and, and uh, lesson three, uh, what you'd want to study up on is getting more questions and conversations that are outside that lesson 16. So that way you have more than enough to actually talk about. That one, you can actually start doing introductions and that kind of thing too. I think that's where that's really going to fall in. And really you can talk about anything you want to. You don't have to just keep it a conversation. You can actually talk about things. So if there's stuff you want to talk about and you want to get vocabulary for that, I think that's where these meetings and things like this for questions are really going to help out because then you got a lot of people to be able to tell you, well, this is how you can say this. And you can talk about this subject. If you want to talk about certain subjects in Kiowa and ask questions and things like that. And then you can also stick to some of the uh, one through 16 stuff too. You can use part of that in there just to keep a conversation going. But that's what it's looking like for level three for the conversational interview. Uh, haven't figured out what we're gonna do for the grammar on that portion nor the, um, nor exactly what the pronunciation will be for that. Um, so, some of this stuff is going to start being combined as it gets uh, further in. Um, so maybe the pronunciation gets also gets combined into the other areas too. So kind of it, all the stuff that you're learning apart, separated out from itself, it'll start running together a little bit because I think the kinship uh, may also run into the conversation. It might really end up being that that conversational set is uh, really defines what it is, you know, that you progressed, you know, so much in the language and there'll be less of these smaller things, but you'll be incorporating them into the, into the, um, you'll be incorporating them into your, uh, into your uh, interview. So, you know, that's level three, that's still a little bit out of the way, but people are getting a lot closer to that now. Um, so we got to think of, different ways to kind of get everybody to progress up these levels and I think that's it you know those are kind of the updates to things that we're looking at looking at of doing the changes now or in the future so I hope all. And if anybody has any questions about it, I'm going to uh, let me know. I'm checking out the, uh, I was wondering if uh, Melody or let's see, I'm, I'm in your credentialing folder. So again, I forget where I'm supposed to be. Is there like an update to it? Because I don't think I'm seeing all of oh. it. There was a, uh, did, were you here when we talked about the level two checklist? Yeah, then? and I see level okay. one Kiowa language on here. That's why it's one, our checklist for modify June 28th. Okay, so we don't say which one it is. So that should be one. For there one. should be one that's a level two checklist. Level two. In that same, that same okay. uh, folder. All right, okay, that's what I did. Okay, I downloaded that. And there was something else that I was looking for. Um, so when I start this, uh, is there like, it says Kiowa credentialing, is that the file I need to be going in to find out what I'm doing here? 
I'm confused. Um, Dane, do you want to share your screen on this credentialing study material folder and just show? I know. Where to go? I know. I showed it all the time. It's like I, I think I'm missing something. I don't know if I'm, if, you know, I'm in it, but I opened up some. It, it was like a year and a half ago. I got this email, so I'm not sure if I'm seeing everything in it. Okay. So uh, this is where you're at right here in this portion. Glossary help phrases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's see where I put it down below. Okay. There's a uh, level two checklist down below. Them. Oh. oh, that's so I downloaded that. So now, so I'm going to do something on this. <laughs> where do I go first? What do I just follow this chart? Yeah, which is, uh, whichever portion you want to work on, um, we can kind of work on that, and I can give you some more details in the uh, in one of those breakout rooms today about what to do with that. Okay. If there's anything missing, then uh, or needs to be updated, then I'll also add that to you because uh, kind of a lot has changed from from then to now, and so sometimes I'm not seeing where all the where all I haven't updated. Like I think on those note cards for level two, I didn't have those updated because I had an older word in there that. Uh, I needed to change up. So, uh, really, when it comes to uh, the editing of the of this, usually just like in my class, the students become a lot of my editors because uh, when I end up making all this stuff, you know, I can't always track right. down the little fine details all the time. So, yeah, just let me know. Awesome. Um, there was, I think, uh, Dane, you had shared, I think it was in uh, one of the previous sessions in the chat box. I think you shared an updated level two, was it the nouns power, PowerPoint? Yeah, if you go in there, if you go into the, uh, oh, what was it? Yeah, an updated, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Or maybe you said that you were going to, I don't know, but I haven't checked the folder to see yet, but I remember, I think you put it in the uh, chat box, but I don't know if everyone got it, if everyone was able to download it, but I think you said you were going to put it in the um, study materials. Okay. Uh, when I make these rooms, I'll go ahead and check that out. So by the end of the end of the course or end of your, your meeting, then I can tell you if it's in there. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, let's see. So I think, so we have a couple of us uh, working on level two and then uh, Tim, you're still working on level one, right? Oh. All right. Um, do you have any questions like about level one? Like what would be most useful? Do you wanna work with Dane? Do you wanna practice uh, level one grammar? Um, I think if, if I had a question to ask Dane is, is there a, you know, in, I guess in the, uh, my folder that we have, you know, like I sent you those recordings. I didn't put them inside. Oh. I didn't put nothing inside those folders. And I guess I should have my lesson plans or any of that. Do you have like, uh, like a check? Like, okay, he's finished this. He's finished this. And, but. Yeah, I got a folder outside of that, that I'm having that we're going to transfer over to the Kiowa language folder so that, that all of us as board members can actually have access to that. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to update it where I can. I'm just trying to update everybody's folder so it has everything that everybody did. I just need to know, like, what do I still need to be be working on, or what do I need to get to you? Uh, grammar. I know grammar is uh, the one because uh, do we do? When we say grammar, grammar, what are we talking about? Um, let's go ahead and go into that grammar breakout room, and we'll we'll go ahead and then okay. start it okay. there. So once I open these breakout rooms, go to the grammar one, and I'll help you out with that. Well. And then, and uh, then Kathy's going to jump in a breakout room and ask you a well, question. Well, or, no, I mean, I can follow wherever they're going because I need to do all this too. So, I mean, if they're going in for grammar, then I need to be in there, you know, that way it's just, I think it's uh, two students with one, you know, one stone. So, oh, okay. And then uh, I'm trying to think of all those areas real quick. I don't have anything to add. I'm just thinking out loud on these breakout rooms. I'll mute myself. So where do I need to find this material that I'm supposed to have for 
what are we doing? Grammar? <laughs> um, so, so Dane's opening the breakout rooms right now. And then if you go to the grammar breakout room, um, he's going to work with you and Tim to answer any questions you have specifically about credentialing and like he'll go through what exactly you need for the grammar area. And then um, in this room right here, what I thought we could do is use that um, that level two PowerPoint. So I know, um, Aunt Carolyn, I wasn't sure what you wanted to do. Um, well, what I was wondering is last year when we did the grammar level one, we had all of those PowerPoints that I printed out. Is there one for level two or is it a continuation of what was That's what I'm talking about. Out? Oh, it's a continuation, a but, but you're actually going from Kiowa to English, I mean, English to Kiowa this time. Now, some people have already done English to Kiowa because that was the original level one. Um, so some people do have that already from last year and we got the recordings of that. But not everybody, we did do a switch on that from where you're trying we were translating from Kiowa to English which is a little bit easier but now you're doing it in reverse so okay. that's what it's going to it's just the reverse of what you did now if you already did it that way I mean uh, uh, once I get those files are you updated you can go ahead and listen to them if you don't have them saved on your own thing then once I get those uh, files all updated and, and gathered you'll be able to have access to your own folder and you'll be able to see what you have. Uh, okay, because I, I can't get my folder. I don't even know what happened to my folder. Um, I have a I have a I have a file that has it on my own personal drive. Um, but um, to kind of give the Kiowa language program access to it, that's just the part that we had to kind of figure out how to do that. And so I'm still working on which folder to put it in, who has access to what, you know, and, and who can listen to which folder. So. Um, Is that the one with the shoe and the flower and the- Yeah, that, that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Huh. But there's also more to this, to that folder too, isn't there? When was it there? So um, I think- Dogs it, and- um, huh. Flowers. Huh. Flowers. But yeah. Yeah. further on down the bottom, shoot. I never get okay. a copy. Was there a, a TP? Yeah, there was a house. There was a house and a and and dress and stuff like that. They're really not that hard to use. It, it would it, the concept is you know how whenever we say pants and jeans, it's always plural. Uh huh. It, it's, there's something there's stuff like that in Kiowa that happens too or something always sounds plural or something always sounds singular so it's really not that much harder to add those in it's just that what we originally did in less level one that's like the very base of it and as long as you know that you can move to these other things so switching to it to those other ones aren't going to be any harder um, it's just that switching from English to Ki Ki English to Kiowa it, it does take a little bit more to study on. Hey, uh, you're already familiar with the sentences. Dane, Honde and Saitha. Honde. Um, the is there any way you could put that power the level two grammar PowerPoint in the um chat box again? Because I thought I downloaded it, but I I can't find it now. So yeah, I'll put it on <laughs> once I get to, once we get into the once I uh. Everybody uh, that needs to get those down goes in the grammar rooms. Mm -hmm. I'll know for sure what we need. Okay. All right. So, oh, awesome. So I am going to jump into that grammar room. So that those who are trying to figure that out and how to uh, get onto that, go ahead and go in there right now. And then after that, I should have everything updated for that portion. All right. Awesome. Sounds good. And... And Carolyn, um, it sounds oh. like you might want to jump over there too, really um, quick, if you're okay. able to. How do I do that? <laughs> uh, right. Do you want Do you want me one, to move one, you over there? I can. No, uh, is it just one? Uh, yeah, it's it's a grammar breakout room. It says if you go to the breakout room button, and it says grammar, and you hit join. Okay. Right, yeah. I see it. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so um, let me sit out of that. Okay, so for those of us that are here, um, I wonder if Dane had a chance to update the study stats because I think that's what we were doing last time was uh, looking at the study stack and seeing what we can uh, kind of go over. Um, let me share my screen. <clears throat> and we can look and see if there's anything that's interesting that we could work on with pronunciation wise. Um, Okay, so we have Kiowa nouns, pronouns, verbs. Last week we did the default nouns. I think we still have to do the animate nouns and the plant nouns. Um, there's a level two animate singular nouns. And then there's all these level two uh, Kiowa noun, noun, verb, pronoun. Um, so let's see since i have uh the mentors here with me <laughs> um which set of these uh noun verb pronoun uh study decks do you feel would be most useful to get pronunciation recordings of like which ones have we not done before as far as hearing um because we have grandma martha and we have miss marion and it would be awesome to be able to practice some pronunciation but i'm not sure which ones would be most useful so grandma martha now what do you think oh <laughs> all of them is all of them are good to go over but it just depends on who needs what in here that we need to spend time on. Mm -hmm. um, I know, uh, Miss Brenda, you're not you're on listen only and you can't speak. But <laughs> Miss Brenda, I'm wondering if you have a preference. Like, like for me, any of the level two recordings. Well, actually, any recordings of the pronunciation would help me. But um, the any of the level two ones would help. Um, but I also know we have some level one um, that we haven't looked at yet. So uh, Miss Brenda, if you have a preference, shout it out or put it in the chat. And let's see. Uh, okay, level two. Awesome. Hello, I think. Uh, hi, Lori. Hande, Hande, aim, oi, bon. Um, Lori, I don't know if you can hear us. Hopefully you can. Um, but right now we were looking at the study stacks and trying to decide which grammar study deck that we wanted to practice pronunciation of. And just so you know, there's a group of us, um, a group of learners working with Dane specifically on grammar credentialing questions. Um, so if you are interested, Lori, in um, listening in, I know uh, Dane has both level one and level two learners in there. Um, it's in the breakout room. So if you click on the Zoom, go to breakout rooms, and then find the one that says grammar, and then hit join, you'll see a bunch of them in there. And so they're talking about grammar stuff. Um, so you're welcome to stay here with us. We're going to uh, start with one of these level two um, noun, verb, pronoun, <laughs> slide, uh, study cards to practice pronouncing, but um, totally up to you, wherever you wanna go. If you wanna go to the breakout or if you wanna stay here, um, this session is being recorded and, and we'll post it later, but um, the breakout room that Dane's in is not being recorded. So if you have questions like specifically about the credentialing process, um, feel free to hop over there and then you can hop back here. So totally up to you. All righty. 
Uh, so let's see here. So let's go to level two noun for pronoun. Um, okay, I guess. Let's see, what's the difference? Let's see, this says unfinished. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't use that because <laughs> it says unfinished. Uh, maybe I should do one that's not unfinished. Um, it's kind of interesting. Level two singular nouns. There's only eight of them. So let's see what that's all about. Man, I don't like these ads. <laughs> Can you guys see the screen okay? Okay. Um, all right, so this is level two Kiowa nouns, verbs, pronouns in study stacks. I will put the link in the chat. Um, and let's see, hopefully my internet cooperates. I might have to go on audio only. Level two. Iowa grammar noun verb pronoun. Okay, I'll put it in the chat. So that's the link if you want to reference it later. Um, okay, so let's see. So it's going to tell us, let's see, I'm trying to see how this works. Let's scroll down. Okay, so the noun is house and the verb is to see. And this is the correct one, right? It's the, yeah, bon. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so house, I see it. And we'll start with uh, Grandma Martha Nell and then uh, Miss Marion uh, to pronounce it. So Grandma Martha. So get bone. So get bone. Oh. Miss Marion? So get bone. So get bone. Oh. So get bone. So get bone. Do ya bong. Do ya bong. Do ya bong. 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 So, yeah, bon. Um, Lori, I don't know if you're you can hear us, but uh, did you uh, want to try? So, yeah, bon. Uh -ho. Uh, let's see. I'm looking to see if there's anyone else. Okay. And uh, Miss Brenda, if you would like to chime in, just put in the chat, and we can add you to the rotation. So. Uh, just in case uh, you're meeting, if you're able to. Okay, so that was house, I see it. Okay, house, you see it. Grandma Martha? So, a uh, bong. So, a uh, bong. Oh, Miss Marion? So, um, oh, oh, um, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Again, this is house, you see it. 
do a bon do do a bon bon do a bon and lori do a bon Uh -ho. All right, let's go to the next one. House, he or she sees it. That's the one we're saying. Grandma Martha. So, boom. So, boom. Uh -ho. Miss Marion. Mm -hmm. Do bon. Do bon. Aho. Do see house. Do bon. Ah. Strange thing. Do house. Bon. He or she sees it. Do bon. See. Do do bon. bon. That does sound like kind of an awkward sentence. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Technicalities, I feel like we're linguists now. <laughs> okay, Lori? So, oh. It just feels strange without a pronoun there. So, oh. 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 Uh, oh. Okay, we'll go to the next one. House, mine it is. And so we're just saying the singular house, mine it is. Grandma Martha now. So ain't do. So ain't do. So ain't do. Mm -hmm. Miss Marion? Do a do. Do a do. Aho. House no, mine it do is. A do. do a do. Do Or I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh. Do a do. Do a do. Do a do. See, like. So. Martha, it seems like it should be like, no, do, ain't do, no, do, ain't do, no, do, ain't do. It's well, like it's my house. Well, all no, of these, do, do, do. all of these that we're saying are shortened down just to give you the exact um, pronoun, mm -hmm. verb, noun. But we could add to it mm -hmm. and make a long sentence, and it would probably mean more to you. We could say, "Ain't it? So ain't it? So ain't it? So ain't it? This is my house." Oh, so we're we're missing some words, and that's why it sounds odd to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's it's basically just to practice, not necessarily conversational. Right, that's not how we would say it. Yeah, if talking. you were really talking about something. Mm -hmm. So you could say na do a ain da or uh, ain de do ain da. Yeah, like this is my house here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, Lori, yeah, did you I go know. already? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Do ain da. Do ain da. It just sounds so short. I guess it's kind of like reading uh, the dog is red or something. <laughs> See the cat. <laughs> run, Dick, run. <laughs> yeah. See Sally run. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. Okay. 
Okay, how's yours it is? Grandma Marcinelle. Oh my god. So get on. So get on. Oh. Miss Marion. Excuse me. Don't get on. Don't get on. So again, this is house yours it is. So get all. So get all. Lori? So get all. So get all. Uh -huh. All right. House his. Wait. What is this? House his hers. What? Are we missing something here? Like house. Should it say house his or hers it is or? I think that's what you're missing because the others two say they are, but we don't have the, the end. Yeah. Uh, Grandma Martinelle, what do you think? You're, well, okay, let's let's look at the way he's got it in there as Kiowa. Let's see what. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Do a da. That means it's that person's house, either his house or her house. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think the English was missing. It might be missing a word on the English side. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> I'm all done. <laughs> <laughs> so a doll. So a doll. That house belongs to that person. Ah ho. Miss Marion? So a doll. So a doll. Ah ho. Okay, so this is the top one, and it sounds like it should say in English house, his, herds, it is. Is it singular? So a doll. So a doll. So a doll. I don't know if my tones are right, but. Uh, Lori? So a doll. So a doll. Uh -oh. All right, we're getting there. Okay, so this is house for me, you give it. Let me say that one. Grandma Martha now. So ain't on. So ain't on. Miss Marion. So ain't on. So ain't on. Aho. So this is the top one. House for me, you give it. Do ain't on. Do ain't on. Lori? Do ain't on. Do ain't on. Do ain't on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me go to the next one. All right. This is the last one of this deck. Um, house it is. Grandma Martha? Oh, doll. Do, doll. Oh, Miss Marion? Do, do. Do, do. Oh, again, this is a really, really short version of of the noun and the pronoun so we're talking a uh, house it is so doll so doll Lori so doll so doll mm -hmm. all right oh yay so we did it <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back to the list. All right. So, uh, mentors, how did we do? Ah, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Okay. 
How did how did we do? Pronounce it good. Pronunciation was good. Mm -hmm. It was it was a okay. Just a little <laughs> touch here and there. More sounds, <laughs> but as they're learning. Oh, ah ho. All right. Um, well, let's see. So we're, it looks like the plural nouns, it says unfinished. So I'm going to skip over that one. Um, let's see. I kind of want to do that anim, animate human because isn't that the one that's like Kiowa only? Let's see. That's a different. Oh, this is okay. This is when you're talking about humans. Okay. Wasn't there a one that was like only specific to Kiowas? Or was that, is that not, um, maybe that's in the PowerPoint. Anya um, Haiga. Let's see it first. Okay, so let's see, we did this one. So let's go to the, uh, I guess go to the animate human in crowd. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's only eight of them. So we'll see if we can do that. Do, uh, do any of you know what that means with the jargon or what that title means? In Crowd. Okay, it says, um, oh, where'd it go? Oh, right here. Animate human in crowd only, plural, singular and dual are like animate. Does that make sense to anyone? <laughs> what the heck is that? Really like the animal? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we'll just go through it then and you let us know. <laughs> okay, so the first one, family, I see them. Uh, Grandma Martha. Okay. They go, they go, they go, they go. Oh, Miss Marion? They go, they go. They go. Day bon. Ah uh, Date go day bon. Date go day bon. Bon. Day bon. Bo bon. 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 Almost like you say bon, but you stop short. Bon. It's bon. Me, so the end. Bon. 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 I need to make my nasal louder, apparently. Bone. <laughs> bone. You know, they go, they won't. They bone. Bone. Oh, a uh ho. -huh. Uh, Lori? They go, they bone. They go, they bone. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Family, you see them. Grandma Martha? They go, Babel. They go, Babel. Uh -huh. Miss Marion? They go, Babel. Date go, babe, bon. Date go, babe, bon. Date go, babe, bon. Babe, bon. Babe, bon. Babe, bon. Lori? Date go, babe, bon. Date go, babe, bon. Uh -huh. 
uh, family, she or he sees them. Grandma Marcinelle. Okay. They go a bone. They go a bone. I hope, Miss Marion. They go a bone. They go a bone. Oh. Sorry, my kids had a question. They're uh, working on dinner for us. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, they go a bone. They go a bone. They go a bone. They go a bone. Oh. Family mine they are. Grandma Martha now? They go nado. They go nado. Miss Marion? Mm -hmm. They go nado. They go nado. Aho. They go nado. They go nado. They go nado. They go nado. Aho. Family yours they are. They go name doll. They go name doll. Ah, who, Miss Marion? They go name doll. They go name doll. Ah, who? They go name doll. They go name doll. They go named dog. They go named dog. Ah ho! Almost there. Family, his, hers, they are. Grandma Martha, no. They go named dog. They go named dog. Ah ho, Miss Marion. They go named dog. They go angel. They go angel. Oh. <clears throat> they go in doll. They go in doll. They go in doll. They go in doll. Oh. Family for me, you give them. Grandma Martinel. They go nay on. They go nay on. Miss Marion. They go nay on. They go nay on. I hope. They go nay on. They go nay on. Lori. They go nay on. They go nay on. Uh -huh. Okay, last one. Family, they are. Grandma Martha, no? They go nay on. They go. A dog. Is it uh, supposed to say a dog or a dog? No. Hey. Let's see. They are family. They go a dog. They go a dog. So the pronoun's wrong here? No, it's right. It's right. You're saying that that's the that's a family. Isn't it an E for the 
uh, the letter E. For my? Yeah. Is that what that? Um, or it says family, they are. Um, they are. They are our family. They are our family. They go by dog. That means all those people are your family. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So family, they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Miss Marion? They go by dog. They go a dog. Seems like we think go a dog. So when you say the a dog, does that mean like it's possessive, oh. like my family, like all of them are my family? Yeah, all of them are your family. And then this one, if you say a dog, then you're just saying like those, just some people over there are a family. Yes, yeah, part of them, but not all of them. But this okay. other thing you're saying they're all your family. They are. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. Um, they go a doll. They go a doll. They go a doll. They go a doll. Ah ho! Woohoo! I like that little uh scoring thing. It's like you get a gold star. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, so let's see the other one. Let's see, we did uh, the short, this uh, animate human in crowd, whatever that means, we did that. <laughs> um, okay, so now let's see, I'm just looking to see, I guess we can go to this next one, which is long form level two long form can be dual okay let's see what oh this is the plum one okay <laughs> <laughs> i remember this one all right um grab a martha okay i'll all go name both uh oh miss marion <laughs> Oh god, name oh god, name bone. Aho. Ala ga name bone. Ala ga name bone. Lori. Ala ga name bone. Ala ga name bone. And that's plum, I see them too. Plum, you see them too. Is there one more to know? I'll go main phone. I'll go main phone. Aho, uh -huh. Miss Marion? I'll go main phone. I'll go main phone. Aho. <clears throat> this is plum, you see them too. Ala ga main bone. Ala ga main bone. Ala ga main bone. Ala ga main bone. Aho. Um, I think I saw, oh, Alisan. Hande onde aim oi bon. <laughs> Oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, I fell. A, um, I took a nap after work. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I just woke up. <laughs> That's okay. You're right on time. Um, so what we're doing? Uh, so Dane has some breakout rooms open for anyone that has questions about the credentialing. So uh, right now it looks like they're they're all in the grammar breakout room because they're asking Dane some questions about like how the evaluation will be for the grammar. And so Kathy, Tim, and I think Aunt Carolyn are in there. And so if you want to go into that breakout room, just click on the breakout rooms and then click join or I can move you over there. Um, in this room here, what we're doing is we're doing pronunciation of this one is, let's see, 
the Kiowa nouns, verbs, pronouns, level two, long form can be dual. Don't know what that means, but that's what we're doing. Something with plums. <laughs> so I'll just stay in here. Okay, so would you like to uh, get in the rotation for pronouncing? Sure, who do I go after? Uh, you'll be after Lori. Okay, so I'm next. Um, sure, if you want to jump in on this one. <laughs> a la ga main bone. Uh -ho. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, plums, she or he, or plum, she or he sees them too. Uh, Grandma Marthanel. Oh, oh God, ain't bone. Oh, oh God, ain't bone. Oh, uh who, Miss Marion? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh God, ain't bone. Oh, oh God, ain't bone. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Allah ga ain't bone. Allah ga ain't bone. Ain't bone. Allah ga ain't bone. Allah ga ain't bone. And Alison? Allah ga ain't bone. Allah ga ain't bone. Aho. Okay, plum, mine, they too are. Grandma Martha? Oh, God, Nada. Oh, God, Nada. Ah, who? Mrs. Marion? Oh, God, Nada. Nada. Oh, God, Nada. Ah, who? Allah ga ne da. Allah ga ne da. Allah ga ne da. Allah ga ne da. And Alison? Allah ga ne da. Allah ga ne da. Ahu. Plum, yours, they too are. Grandma Martha, no? Oh, my God. Nada. Oh, my God. Nada. Aho, Miss Marion? Oh, my God. Nada. Oh, my God. Nada. Oh, my God. Nada. Aho. Allah ga ne da. 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 Aho. Plum, his or hers, they too are. Grandma Martinel. Alla ga nenda. Alla ga nenda. Aho, Miss Marion? Alla ga nenda. Alla ga nenda. Nenda. Aho. Alla ga nenda. Alla ga nenda. Alla ga nenda. Allah ga name da. Allah ga name da. Allah ga name da. Oh. Plum for me, you give them two. Grandma Martha now. Allah ga ain't on. Allah ga ain't on. Aho, Miss Marion. Oh God, ain't on. Oh God, ain't on. 
Oh, oh. Give me plum. <laughs> Alago ain't on. 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 It's me here. I'm leaving the Linda's house here right now. I'm going to go to, uh, I've got all oh, Junior's mail here, so I'm going to go to his place first. All right, let's Just see. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm on Zoom. Okay, okay. didn't mean to bother you. Bye. Um, plum, they two are. Um, Grandma Martha now. I want to go a doll. I want to go a doll. Oh, Miss Marion. Oh, God, a doll. Oh, God, a doll. Oh, I'll go a doll. I'll go a doll. I'll go a doll. Allah ga a doll. Allah ga a doll. Allah ga a doll. Oh, halfway through. Okay, we're gonna say plum. I see it. Remember Martha now. Okay. Allah ga day bon. Oh God, they boom. Oh, uh Miss Marion. Oh God, they boom. Oh, oh God, they boom. Oh, I love God, they boom. 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 Allah ga de bon. Allah ga de bon. Aho. Plum, you see it. Grandma Martha, no? Allah ga de bon. Allah ga de bon. Aho, Miss Marion? Allah ga. Baby, oh, oh, God, baby, 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 oh, God, Bay bon. Allah ga bay bon. Aho. Plum, she or he sees it. Grandma Martha now. Allah ga a bon. Allah ga a bon. Aho, Miss Marion. Allah ga a bon. Oh, God, a bone. Oh, I got a bone. I love 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 a bone. Oh, plum mine it is. <clears throat> oh, God, no doll. Oh, God, no doll. Oh, Miss Marion. Oh, God, no doll. Oh, God, no doll. Oh, Allah ga na da. Allah ga na da. Allah ga 
na da. Alaga na da. Alaga na da. Alaga na da. Aho. Plum yours it is. Drama Mark Pinnell. Alaga da da. Alaga da da. Aho. Miss Marion. Alaga da da. Oh God, go go. Oh God. Oh God. Allah God, go go. 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 Gada. Aho. Plum his or hers it is. Grandma Martino. Alaga Ada. Alaga Ada. Aho, Miss Marion. Alaga Ada. Oh no, 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 oh 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 Alaga Ada Alaga Ada Oh Plum for me you give it hmm. Grandma Martha now Alaga no on Alaga no on Oh Miss Marion Allah ka na da no Allah ka na on Allah ka na on Aho Allah ka na on Allah ka na on Allah ka na on Allah ka na on Alaga na on Alaga na on Aho Oh last one plum it is Grandma Martha now Alaga a da Alaga a da Aho Miss Marion Alaga a dog. I love God. A dog. I love A dog. A ho. I love God. A dog. 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 Alaga a dog. Aho. Hey, look at that. We did it. Okay, let's see. So that was whew, the long form. So we did the animate human long form. Let's see. I think last week we did the level one default nouns. Do you remember, Lori? Pretty sure we did the default. I was in a breakout room, so I wouldn't be sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, okay. I think I, we did do level one. Okay, so uh, can we do uh, this level two singular nouns? 
Did we already do it? Let's see. Oh, wait. Wait, this is all we started with. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, oh, did, maybe we did all of them. Let's see. Uh, the only one we didn't do is this plural nouns, but it says unfinished. I wonder. I wonder how far it goes. So maybe it says unfinished because it doesn't have like. Do you think it just means it doesn't have all of the phrases like that's why there's only eight of them. That's oh, what it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, but the phrases are accurate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold it, well, so let's see, this one is a uh, shirt dress. I see them. And then uh, what was that? Hold, hold on. Yeah. Bon. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's try this one. It's a, a partial um, plural nouns level two. So here's the list, but I know it's probably too small to see right now, but all right. So shirt, dress, I see them. Grandma Martha now. Hold a gap, boom. Hold a gap, boom. Uh, oh, Miss Marion. Um, hold up, yet yeah, hold up, yet yeah, boom. Ah, uh, hold. Hold up, yet yeah, boom. 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 Hold up. Yeah, phone. Hold up, yeah, phone. Ah, uh -huh. All right, shirt, dress, you see them. Grandma Martha. Hold up, bop, boom. Hold up, bop, boom. Ah, uh -huh. Miss Marion. Oh, hold up, bop, boom. Hold that button, but hold that button. Uh, who? Hold that button. 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 Hold up, back bone. Hold up, back bone. Uh -ho. Shirt, dress, she or he sees them. Hold a gap bone. Hold a gap bone. Oh, it's Marion. Oh. <coughs> Hold up, gap bone. Hold the gabon. Ah ho. Hold the gabon. 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 Ah ho. Okay. Um, shirt, dress, mine, they are. Hold a yanda. Hold a yanda. Mm -hmm. Sorry, they had another question. Uh, Miss Marion? Hold that, yeah, dog. Hold that, yeah, dog. Ah, ho. Hold that, yan, yan, dog. Hold that, yan, dog. Yan, yan. Yan, yan. Hold that, yan, dog. 
Not yawn, but yeah. 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 Mine. yeah. Hold the yeah dog. Hold the yeah dog. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hold the yeah dog. Hold the yeah dog. Hold the yaw dog. Hold the yaw. Let's see, hang on. Hold the yaw dog. Hold the yaw dog. Mm -hmm. I had to squeeze my nose for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tongue twister. <laughs> One of those ones we got to say 400 times mm. in the mirror. <laughs> Okay, shirt, dress, yours, they are. Uh, Grandma Martha? Hold a young doll. Hold a young doll. Uh, oh, Miss Marion? Hold, hold a young doll. Hold a young doll. Oh, uh, ho. Hold the young doll. 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 Ah ho. Shirt dress, his or hers, they are. Grandma Martha, no? Hold the undaw. Hold the undaw. Miss Marion. Hold the undaw. Hold the undaw. Ah ho. Hold the undaw. Hold the undaw. Hold the on dog. Hold the on dog. Hold the on dog. Hold the on dog. Uh -oh. Okay, we have two more. Shirt dress for me, you give them. Grandma Martha, no? Hold the young on. Hold a young on. Ah ho, Miss Marion. Oh, hold a young on. Hold a young on. Ah ho. Hold a young on. Hold a young on. Hold the yaw on. Hold the yaw on. Hold the yaw on. Hold the yaw on. Ah ho. Okay, last one. Shirt dress they are. Grandma Martha. Hold the get doll. Hold the get doll. Miss Marion. Hold the get doll. Hold the get doll. Ah ho. Hold the get doll. Hold the get doll. Hold the get doll. Hold the get doll. Hold up, your dog. Hold up, your dog. All right. Uh oh. Woohoo! We did it. <laughs> Omaha. <laughs> oh. I think we did all of the level two ones. Let's see. Now, what verb, pronoun? 
think the only one we didn't do is this one that says grammar level two unfinished. That's pretty good. I'm excited. Uh -huh. I'll be sure to post this recording uh, quickly so that we can practice. Uh -huh. Appreciate, appreciate all of your help, Grandma Martha uh -huh. Nell and Miss Marion and very, very awesome. Good progress. <laughs> Melody, um, question. Um, on Kit, I'm just going to tell you what I have written down for a level two um, that we have to do. It's in person conversation interviews, grammar, pronunciation, reading folder. So we pick a story, read it out loud, and record ourselves. And we also download the PowerPoint conversation. Is that, and then kinship. I have A and B under that number three of pronunciation reading folder that we have to do two things out of that. Is that right? Hmm. I believe so. Hey, Thaw, let's look at the checklist. Let me share my screen. Um, let me message the breakout room really quick. Let them know because we're at our time right now. So mm -hmm. let me message them and then I'll share my screen so we can look at the study material. And continue to practice as you need to, but we will be closing up uh, soon. Bye. Kids are waiting for me for dinner. Okay. Sending that. People can stay on in the breakout. I'm not going to close the Zoom yet, but um, I do have to jump off because uh, the kids made dinner today and they're waiting for me to... I'm kind of curious to see what they came up with. So, um, okay. So, Allison, Lori, can you see my screen? Uh -huh. um, okay. So, this is the credentialing study material folder. And so, um, Allison, I don't remember if you were here when uh, Dane talked about the level two checklist. I can't remember either. <laughs> well, here it is. I think uh, that. I have that. You have it? Okay. So so yeah, this is um this is everything you need for level two. Okay. So if you already did this, you know, then you're good. Then you could check that off. Um the grammar one, which we just, you know, we're doing. So Dane said that he's going to uh there's a there's a PowerPoint. I think he shared it a few sessions ago, but um he said uh, he's going to put it in the study material folder for us under the grammar. Let me look and see. Yeah, it's it's not in here yet, but we should see a level two grammar folder at some point soon because Dane's going to put that PowerPoint in there so we can study. Because remember, the level two has like a few more, like the ones we practice are different terms, like the, the house and the family and um, the plum are different from the level one nouns. Um, kinship. Uh, so we translate from English to Kiowa. So they're gonna show us in English and then we say it in Kiowa, like we've been practicing on the study stats. Um, and then pronunciation. So this one changed a little bit from previously. So we record ourselves in Kiowa reading only one of the following. So one long story, several short stories, one short story and revoice the conversations in the PowerPoint. So we would just go to level two pronunciation uh, folder to find that. Okay, that clears it up for me then. Okay. On the interview, um, the conversation interviews, um, where are those coming from? I'm a little lost on that. I must not be painted. Those are uh, the interviews are ones that uh, 
like the one we had in May in Anadarko at the language um, program office. And then they're having one in Norman um, on August 19th at the, I think it's uh, Grandma Martha is at the District 7 office, office. in Norman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Ha. Huh. Um, what, but what conversations are we having to study for those is my question. Like, where are they coming from? You know, like last time we had certain conversations um, and sentences that we would practice before we went in there. Is there a certain set that I need to look at? Or is it just the same kind of ones again? Does that, my question make sense? Mm -hmm. I think we did all the ones before, so you're probably ready to go into the two for your conversation. Most of you, you got to your level one. I think. Yeah, I did the level one conversation in person interview. Yeah, another one or no? Um, it's level two now. Okay. Yeah, there there was um so there was that in person credentialing the interview that they did um it was in May I forget what day it was a Saturday in May mm -hmm. um where in Anadarko where um we tried out the level two so mm -hmm. like I did the level two and there was uh, I think Judy tried it and. There's a few of us that tried it. Um, and then, so we're having another in-person credentialing interview um, on okay. August 19th. So that's okay. the one you wanna put on your calendar so you can, uh, if I you wanna get that, the conversations done. I have that date mark, but where is it in the drive that I practice those conversations is my question. Uh, let's see, so the conversation. Okay. I just go off of there. Got it. That's that's what I was confused on. What the conversation material was, I didn't realize it was. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. I didn't but, it was labeled conversational Kiowa because I think last time we had, I just remember just practicing, you know, introductions and where I was from, and mm -hmm. you know, it was in the drive listed as conversation. So I apologize. <laughs> Uh -huh. No worries. Um, so basically all of the, I think we did six or seven uh, lessons. So we turned the conversations PowerPoint into lessons for our spring sessions. And that's what we did for our spring uh, to practice. So you could also use those materials to practice, um, which if you have those PDFs from my emails, um, they're, they're also in uh, the Kiowa Language Resources Google Drive folder that I shared with everyone under learnkiowa.org. And then you look for, I think, spring 2023 and look for Wednesdays, and then it's all in that folder. Um, okay. But you can use those to practice because that's what we did, like basically for all of the spring is each session. And you could also check the YouTube uh, the Learn Kiowa YouTube channel because uh, all the recordings of the sessions are on there. And so we practiced uh, and that's how we prepared for the level two interviews. Okay. Um, so that could come in handy, um, all those handouts. I'm going to ask uh, Dane if he, if, if those are something that would be useful to study and if he wants to upload them into his folder here. I don't know, but I'll ask him. But um, I can, let's see, do you want me to share the folder really quick of where you can find those? Um, if you can, if you don't have time, that's, I'll go look around there. Uh, well, I can share my screen really quick um, and try to show you where, Kiowa Language Resources. Okay. And then it's learnkiowa.org. And then you're going to look for spring because we did it in the springtime. And then go to the Wednesdays. And then it is, uh, what is it? So it's all the ones that say Learn Kiowa Level 2 Lesson 1 2023. So, like for instance, the 
the one that uh, we used was the one that says revised at the end. Okay. And you'll recognize these from those PowerPoint. Yes, I, I do. Thank you. Yeah. So, but these are the, this is how we studied. And then these conversations are, you know, you, you'll be able to hear those in the recordings also. So um, there's one lesson, one, two, three. Uh, where is it? I think we went up to six, four, five, and six. So there's six of them for that. And basically that's everything you need to know to have a conversation for level two. Because uh, for level two, well, Dane just discussed, there's gonna be some changes um, to it, but what we did in May is for level two, we had to extend the conversation. Like instead of just responding to the credentialing board members, we had to also engage in conversation with them. So ask them questions and, you know, kind of do a back and forth. Um, whereas in level one, it was just kind of just responding um, and not really asking them anything like impromptu. Um, at least that was how it was in May. And then I know Dane said that they've been discussing some changes and adjustments that they want to make in the future. Um, is that accurate, Grandma Martha? Yes. Uh -huh. Said it right. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. um, well, I think those guys are still in the breakout room, but I have to, um, I'll, I'll go off camera, but I have to go uh, join my kids there. <laughs> <laughs> They're waiting on me for dinner. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll just do our closing prayer and then we can, um, uh, if, if anyone needs to leave, you know, that's fine. Um, but there's Dane and the others are still in the breakout room. So I'm just going to let them continue. Um, and then we'll go ahead and close up. So um, let's see here. Uh, Lori. Uh, fade out so sorry I was muted <laughs> oh Ducky on a day on a on gear not be here on on gear they own the back of a thing so on Ugly gone, not seen on. A da, da, do de. Da, get on, on. So on, da. So on. Hega, in, the song, by da. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for us, for our time together, for sustaining our traditions, language, the Bible way. Thank you to the elders who give up their time and our teachers and the other students who are dedicated to this language. And I thank you just for the camaraderie and knowing these people and this time together. Thank you, Lord. Aho. Aho. Thank you, Lori. All right. Um, Aho de bat ha. Uh, he got him oi thong ta or he got ba oi thong ta ta. Oh, oh, have a good evening. Good evening. See you on uh next Wednesday. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording, but uh, we still have Dane and there's a few others in the breakout room, so I'm sure you'll see them pop up here in a minute. He got oi thong ta. Oh, oh. Get some hot bow. Oh, my mother tongue.